we were set for an intriguing final day at the Dubai Tour with several classifications still up for grabs. A maximum of 16 bonus seconds were available today, so even if it came down to the most likely scenario of a bunch sprint, there were still 12 riders who could mathematically take the leader's blue jersey on bonus seconds alone. It was the frantic opening few kilometres as the composition of the day's breakaway was sorted out. Dan Pearson of Aqua Blue made the early move, Novo Nordisk were keen to join them, almost too keen. Andrea Perone and Chris Williams took this turn too tight, with Williams forced to abandon after getting his hand caught in these railings. We understand that he is okay, despite a few bumps and bruises. Things would eventually settle down and Pearson was joined by Sun Zhao Long, making his second breakaway in two days, Nasser Al Mamari of the UAE national team, and Quentin Valogne of Novo Nordisk. Valogne was the only man in that move who could still win the intermediate sprints points competition. He'd need seven of the maximum ten points available at the two intermediate checkpoints en route today. Fortunately, the peloton were in no mood to close the four minute gap by the time we got to intermediate sprint number two. This time round, it seemed as though his breakaway companions had done the maths and allowed Valogne to take all five points and with it that coveted intermediate classification jersey. Before we knew it, our four up front became one. It was Dan Pearson versus the peloton, and the latter weren't intent on leaving it as late as yesterday to catch the breakaway. But as soon as Pearson was in sight with 11 kilometers to go, Jacob Hennessy and Rob Stannard of Mitchelton Bike Exchange launched an audacious two-up team time trial. They stayed away until three kilometers to go before the race was finally brought back together with Katusha Alpacin, Barre Merida and Dimension Data taking control. A technical finale was in store for the riders today and positioning into the final right hand bend with 400 meters to go would be crucial. Nasser Buhani was there but he lost grip on the front wheel holding up Colbrelli, Cavendish, Gronewegen and Dagenkolb. It looked like Katusha Alpacin with Marco Haller and Rick Zabel might have profited but the headwind finish and a heroic pull from quick steps Fabio Sabatini allowed Elia Viviani to bridge the gap and start his sprint late to steal his second win of the Dubai Tour and clinch the overall classification. It's clear the Italian is thriving with the support of his new team. He'll no doubt be delighted with his form this week against some of the best sprinters in the world. Haller hung on for second on the day with Adam Blythe sticking to Viviani's wheel and grabbing third. Your final overall classification looks like this. Magnus Court Nielsen could only manage eighth on the final stage and finishes second by 12 seconds in the end, but he does pick up the consolation prize of being the best young rider this week. Thank you very much for watching our coverage of the 2018 Dubai Tour. Our next stop is Abu Dhabi in a couple of weeks time. In the meantime, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and to catch up on a nail-biting stage 4 which finished up the Hatter Dam, click the link on screen now.